I'm here with an amazing singer and Lindsay Clark. Lindsay, how's life? What's up? It's going, you know, <laughs> life is crazy, but it's good. Uh, that's, you know, life, it, it just hits you sometimes. It's been a really long week for me, honestly, but I get to go home in like two days. So I'm really excited, but life is good. How about you? <laughs> I'm doing well. Let me guess. It was the finals, wasn't it? Actually, I go to full sale, so we don't have like your typical finals. We have like um, a different class every month, so I'll have like a final project every month. So like technically, I have finals every month. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I I was just about to say lucky, but finals every month sounds like the epitome of death. No, thank you. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's not it's not as intense as your typical final would be, but it still exists. So. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Well, well, Lindsay, I was I was checking out your YouTube channel uh, earlier today, and I watched a video called Creative Expression of Life. And I thought that I, I thought that that was absolutely fantastic, and I think it's really important in modern day society. Talk a little bit about that because I think everyone should watch it. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I actually made that my senior year of high school, so that was like three years ago. <laughs> um, but basically, that whole video. Um, it's called creative expression of life so it's basically talking about how it's really important to be able to understand how people or what people see and i think the closest way to understand what people see is by understanding their creative expression um so like for example like i express myself through music or film etc and um you know if people listen to my music they'll kind of understand the way i view life and so on like vice versa so yeah that's what that whole thing is about and i basically in that video i went around new york city which is kind of where i'm from i'm from connecticut i go to new york city all the time <laughs> um so i went around and interviewed like different street performers artists musicians whatever um and kind of got a little insight um, on them and why they do what they do and that kind of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> so the most important question, uh, did you get an A on that project? Cause it was definitely deserved. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So now, now onto the music, of course. Uh, I know that you're just coming back from the studio probably like a half hour ago. How was that? It was good. Uh, we went over, uh, we went over a lot of stuff. So, uh, basically I can't tell you all the details but um <laughs> but basically I've been working with this label recently within the past like six months I'm not signed or anything but we were working out release dates and that kind of stuff so I've been working a lot on like bigger projects so the stuff on my SoundCloud that you see is kind of just like me and my bedroom <laughs> you know recording stuff and writing whatever um but yeah so the bigger projects that i've really been putting a ton of time into hopefully will come to fruition soon so i can share more about that but um yeah that was like our last meetup before i go home for christmas so it was good a lot, gotcha. of, a lot of discussions but it was good <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, hopefully when you can talk more about that, we can do a follow-up interview. But I am kind of curious because I'm obviously not a musician, but being in the studio, uh, I, I guess kind of like, what is that like? What does a typical day look like in the studio for you? So, honestly, there's multiple studios, I guess, that I'll like go to. Um, they're not very like big unless I'm at the full sale studio, which is my school. They have a crazy, their equipment is beautiful. So <laughs> I'm very fortunate for that. But, um, honestly, like when I say studio, it could range from like, just, you know, vibing off of each other and writing and stuff to laying down vocals. Um, but yeah, so usually when I say studio, it's working with that team that I was talking about, the label, and we'll be writing, sometimes we'll be laying down vocals, either way, um, or sometimes I'll just collaborate with some friends and other musicians in the area in their studios, like their bedroom set up really, <laughs> and um, you know, we'll write, record, yeah, so it could be, really be anything. <laughs> it's a fun lifestyle though, but yeah. 
Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, I do want to obviously mention that SoundCloud song. I actually first heard your song, In the Dark, I think last week, and I, I automatically like fell in love with, your, with the song, with your voice. Talk a little bit about that song for people who haven't yet uh, heard it. Yeah, so that song um, is basically about, I don't even know when I wrote that. I wrote that like last month or something, but I finally recorded it. <laughs> um, but that song is about how um, people really think that I'm a very happy person and that's all they see. And I am, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not like a sad person or anything, but like I've experienced like a lot of depression and stuff in the past that has been really hard and like I'm over it, but it comes back every so often, you know? So basically uh, I was going to call the song Sunshine, but then I stuck with In the Dark. Um, but yeah, that's what that's about is, is so like one of the lyrics is like, even the good souls feel a little cold sometimes and even the sunshine needs to realign with the other stars in the dark so like the sun is a star and you know that's usually only out during the daytime but like the other stars are in the dark and like you know even the sunshine needs to realign <laughs> so that's what that's about um but yeah I played that one on piano I don't really play much piano honestly but um I recorded that one in my bedroom at like 1 a.m. So <laughs> and I, I was impressed. I was really impressed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, that means a lot. Yeah, yeah that one was. A, yeah, that was a very vulnerable song. So I'm glad you guys like that. So, yeah. yeah. Of course. So and another song, of course, is "Afraid." And I I do follow you on social media, so I saw that you just performed that uh, song live. I'm pretty sure I was at your your university, right? Yes, it was. Uh, yeah. That must have been a pretty uh, cool experience, and honestly, and, and this is going to be a dad joke here, but you didn't seem too afraid uh, to be performing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sorry. Dad jokes. Don't apologize. I'm the same way. <laughs> um, but yeah, that song I actually wrote for a homework assignment, believe it or not. It's one of my favorite ones that I've written, but um, <laughs> we had to create something about our biggest fear, and mine is having a boring average life and I talk about like sitting at a desk you know so I don't want to be doing that so I basically wrote a song about it <laughs> and um it came out pretty naturally so but yeah um I did a little live performance of that at my school my friends were starting a tv series it's kind of like an SNL type show it's really fun if you like dad jokes I'm sure you'd love it it's uh yeah and the first episode was called butterfly effect it's a, it's super cool super talented crew they're awesome so funny but um so yeah they needed a musical guest and they asked me so I was, I was like obviously yeah um and you know full sale with all their fancy equipment they made me look really cool <laughs> it was like these big huge cameras and it was like a I don't know, just like a basic TV show setup, but like real legit. It was kind of intimidating, believe it or not, even if I didn't look afraid. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was really fun. Cool experience. So yeah. You know, with you, I, I feel like uh, the homework assignments bring out the best in you because you had that senior project and now I had this. Yeah. I, I, that's weird. Yeah, crazy. I don't know. Sometimes when I like have to do something, I just make it happen. Rather than like, maybe I'll write a song, I actually have to write a song, you know? hundred percent, hundred percent. So uh, I, I, obviously this is different for everybody, but talk a little bit about your songwriting process. I, I guess, how does it start for you? Mm, that's a good question. I think it honestly uh, changes a little bit every time, um, depending if I'm writing alone or with somebody. So like some, I've co-written a few songs. None of the stuff on my SoundCloud is really co-written. Um, but except for one, uh, that one, but it wasn't even on my SoundCloud. Anyways, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so alone, I guess, um, Sometimes I'll just free write if I like know I want to write a song. Sometimes I just have to write because I honestly, before I ever started writing songs, I would just write. Like I was really into creative writing, poetry, and stuff. So um, if I know I want to write a song, a lot of times I'll just, you know, get everything out and see what sticks out to me and what I just like kind of were vomited on a page <laughs> in a sense. Um, and sometimes like there's so much going on in my life like I have a really busy lifestyle so I just won't even know where my head's at sometimes so that whole you know creative writing process really helps me 
Um, other times I'll have like a song idea and I'll kind of write it in my notepad like throughout the day and then I'll go sit down and try to like write something out, come up with the melody. Sometimes the melody even comes first. Like it really just depends. Um, and then sometimes I just like know like I have something and kind of just like sitting there and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go write a song. And that's kind of what happened with that in the dark song. So it really just depends. Um, on the day, on the mood, on the feel. <laughs> um, but when I'm co-writing with the label, usually we'll have a track. Like I work with this amazing producer. I'm really excited for you guys to hear everything so it'll make more sense. But um, yeah, we'll have a track that uh, is given to us and then we'll kind of just like spit out some melodies and then the lyrics usually come later. So, you know. A lot of different ways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I'm obviously looking forward to hearing uh, some of your upcoming uh, projects. I do want to talk about another one, One Life. I saw uh, that you posted on your Instagram oh, story. Yeah. Uh, and I believe that song is available to uh, here on Spotify. Uh, I listened to it. I love it. Talk about that one as well. Oh, thanks. Cool. So that one was actually recorded at Full Sail. Um, that was with a neighbor of mine that lives in my complex we kind of just met in the clubhouse and we were like oh you make music cool <laughs> so, like we just like kind of linked up and um he needed help on his final project for some vocal chops so i was like heck yeah i'll help you out um he goes by young kizzo <laughs> um so yeah definitely check out his spotify we're working on another song we just finished it last night i think actually or two nights ago either way um so that'll be out soon on my soundcloud for sure um and then i think he's putting out um a whole project so that'll be on his spotify i think um don't you know don't take my word but i'm pretty sure um but yeah that song is really fun uh full sale has beautiful studio so it's just like that was my first time recording in their studio so Cool. That's great. That's great. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, once again, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, another interview with you when you can actually talk about some of your other music. Uh, the floor is yours, Lindsay. Anyone you'd like to thank? How can people find you on social media? Okay, so my Instagram is usually where I post most things. Uh, that is at Linzkin. So it's L-I-N-Z-K-I-N-Z-Z. -Z -Z. I know it's weird, but it's stuck. So uh, my Twitter is the same thing. It's L I N Z but underscore K-I-N-Z-Z. -Z. I have a Facebook. You can find me on there. It's just my name, Lindsay Clark. Um, but yeah, and then, oh, I just started my YouTube channel. That's right. Same thing, Lindsay Clark. Um, pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, I hope you guys like the future stuff that I'm putting out. Or if you haven't listened to my stuff that I already have out, take a listen. And yeah. <laughs>